let's start here i have the basic moves which i need i have highlighted the needs of the moves and these are the moves which we need let's practice them one by one i'll be showing it to you in this cube right means right clockwise if you have any doubt think there is a clock in this side move it clockwise that to in the right layer if you move it up it is clockwise right clockwise right anti clockwise which is right down or again you can use the clock method and get it done u means up up clockwise u dash that means up anti clockwise it is this way for the f f is the front layer which we call this let's move it clockwise f single f means clockwise f dash or f apostrophe is equal to f anti clockwise any the letter right up down left front all which have apostrophe are for anti clockwise let's do the f move f front layer again you can think there is a clock and move it clockwise f dash which is anti clockwise now for the d which is down down layer you can think there is the clock here and rotate it uh, d dash i'll show you now d dash rotating the clock anti clockwise and rotating d means rotating the clock clockwise now l l which is the left layer this side l l means think there is a clock here and move it clockwise like this it will be and think there is a clock here again for l dash also and move it anti clockwise now we learnt all the basic moves i guess it is easy for you b and b dash i'll tell you how to do it it is the back layer clockwise and anti clockwise b and b dash we don't use in this formula which i'm teaching you now let's do the layer solving for now i'll jumble this cube now i'll jumble this cube and i'll show you now i jumbled the cube and i bought it here let's do the layer 1 which is this layer 1 layer 2 layer 3 layer 3 is the top layer layer 2 is the middle layer this is the first layer which we call as layer 1 or the down layer now for that first we should form a plus like this a plus you should form a white plus choose any color of your choice white is easier so everyone prefer white the most let's do the white plus for the white plus we are not going to use any formulas so that so that it's easy but before that i have another cube in here in which i'll show you the corner pieces edge pieces and the center pieces the center pieces are the pieces which are in the middle like these edge pieces have two colors and are on the top like sharp these are the edge pieces the corner pieces are actually are these pieces which have three colors of different they all are different here they have white red blue and here we have white red and green you can see they all are different now let's solve it as i told you solving with the white side is easier now let's start first from the white plus i choose the white because it's easy now take any one of the edge piece and form it here we get this line now we want to do that also we need to know this center piece of blue will always be opposite to this green center piece of orange will always be opposite to 
red. That's a rule. Now we add it like this. We should get like this edge also, which is like this. The center and edge should match. Now we have this. As you know, it should be matching like this. Here the orange and the orange is here only. So I move it like this, this, and here I get a shape like this. Now find the edge piece which has green. I have it here. So I rotate it and form a plus. You have different edge pieces here. For that, locate an edge piece which is here. So move it like this. Now we keep it R, U, R dash, U dash. This formula we are applying. Again get that corner piece here. R, U, R dash, U dash. R, U, R dash, U dash. R, U, R dash, U dash. See we formed the half of that. We should always be having this. If it's not there you can turn it like this and get it. R, U, R dash, U dash. R, U, R dash, U dash. R, U, R dash, U dash. Now we just need this. It is again here up so I rotate it and get it to this edge. R U R dash U dash R U R dash U dash R U R dash U dash. Now we form the first layer. First layer is very easy. For that we need a T shape for this. The edges in here need not be same because we will solve it in the second layer formula. Using that formula we can form these edge pieces correctly matching with these two. Now let's do the second layer. For the second layer we have two formulas which is the right side formula and the left side formula. For that we need. Now let's do it. There are many of these nodes which we will use here. Now let's do the right side move for that. We should note for the uses of right side moves are if any edge piece and the center color is here we do use the right side move because it's in a right hand side. Because this red is in my right hand side the blue is matching here. I have this matching here. So I need to make it come here. For that we should first form a T shape here. A long line bar here and another bar. Let's do that. U R U R dash U dash. Turn left means turn this to turn this blue to our left hand side because this piece was facing our front. Turn this blue to our left hand side and do L U L dash U dash. See, you got this edge piece in here. Now, suppose they want to solve this piece and the piece is not anywhere seen in here. It is stuck in here. So we use any formula. For that, if it's located in the right side, use the right side formula. If it's located in the left side, use the left side formula. Let's do the right side formula because it's located in the right. You are dash, you dash. Turn left, turn left, L, U, L dash, U dash. Now, I matched it. Now, I have the T shape formed again for the orange. As this top color which is here is in the left hand side, we use the left hand formula which is U dash, L dash, U dash, L, U, turn right, R, U, R dash, U dash. We got this piece also here. Now we need to form another one. Suppose I want to form this piece. For that, as it's in the right side, we use the right side formula. Just U R U R dash U dash. Turn left, turn this red to our left hand side and do L U L dash U dash. U dash, it's not that compulsory, but you can do it.
Now I locate this also and I'll do it as it's in my right side. I'll do the right side formula again. U R U R dash U dash. And I have the first layer and the second layer also formed. For the third layer, there are four steps. Four third layer is divided into four parts, which is yellow plus yellow edge match, yellow corners match and and for the corners match only we have another step which is for making them equal and set them we get these cases a dot or a rod like this or a ulta shape like L in the opposite direction for that condition we keep it like this and repeat the formula which I'll tell you now so I'll show you for this same formula we apply it one more time. I'll show you this dot is not that common so we get the rod or this. Let's do it. I'll show you for this. Keep it like this. One facing towards us, one facing away. The formula is F R U R dash U dash F dash. I got the rod as I showed you. Now we'll make it into a yellow plus completely. If you get the rod, keep it horizontal and do the formula F R U R dash U dash F dash. I got the yellow plus. Now for it to get formed, we need the edges also to match. For me, the edges are not matching as here. See if any edge is matching. I have two edges which are matching for me. If I rotate it like this, I get two. If you have single, do it again. Keep that to your left side and do the formula which I will tell you now. The formula is R Q U R dash U dash R dash U dash R dash R U R dash U dash. Let's do it. So keep the salt side like this edge match its side like this and do the formula r u u r dash u dash r dash u dash r dash u now we got it right this is the formula i'll show you the formula once again because this is a tough formula you may have a doubt Now let's match two edges like this R U U R dash U dash R dash U dash R U I have all the edges match also here this edge yellow green edge match here also match here also match again you get a T shape with a bottle this is also called a bottle shape or like this a shape now for this yellow corner set match for that we need this formula if you have any corners matched like this keep to your right side if no you can keep any to your right side l u r u l dash u dash r dash for yellow corners see i got this match but not this 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 was already matched so we apply this formula again which is L U R U dash L U R dash for U dash if we make it we will get it formed see we got the yellow corners also matched like for the yellow corners match to identify if any of them are matched here green is there it's here red here yellow here it can be any way it can even be like this solved also that time we don't need to do that here also it's matched here also it's matched and there also it's matched for doing this match let's use the formula r dash t dash r d turn layer and repeat for all corners and see that if you are any turnings needed turn and you have a salt cube 
Let's do that. R dash D dash R dash T. 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 You can see that this is spoiled. Now for these corners. Don't rotate the cube like this. Rotate the layer. And now do R dash D dash R dash D. 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 Now see. For now we'll do this. R dash D dash R dash D. 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 Now if you need any turnings as I told you, you need to turn it like this and you have a salt cube. It just took us 10 minutes to learn this cube solving. And after we learn it, we can solve it within 3 minutes, 2 minutes.